I love that we get to bring into the fold people who have created their own community and given voice to people who, you know, our mass media has not acknowledged, um, to be frank. And my next guest is making such big moves in that aspect, and I'm so excited to bring her on. Ariel, come on out. <laughs> to the last yeah the first and the last yeah let's talk about it I mean you've got this workshop where you're not only showcasing uh, creatives who need a voice and, and are expressing themselves through video but also teaching people to gain the skills that they need yeah let's talk about it <laughs> let's talk about the origin stories how did this all develop so um, the first and the last is a, um, a screening and a workshop and also a fellowship mm -hmm. that I've been doing with um, artist Kiki Nicole, mm -hmm. who's a good friend of mine, and we're both um, experimental video artists. Uh, Kiki's also a poet and um, does like, a, also does, like, works with textiles and just like works with all kinds of arts. And um, we both have encountered just like in through like developing our practices and making work that it's very difficult sometimes to um, to get access to the equipment that we need to get um, training around the skills that we need in order to be able to create the work that we want yeah um, and when we are able to get into those spaces we're often the only ones there we're often the only femmes there the only women there and the only black people there right so we wanted to um, create a space for other people like us to be able to um, to gain skills in safe spaces and to be able to like share the things that we've been able to like learn and teach ourselves with each other yeah um, and to have like food to be able to have fun yeah like, to be able to watch each other's work and celebrate each other and celebrate each other yeah. and that and that's huge and I, I noticed you um, kind of refine it to black female identifying. Mm -hmm. Um, individuals, mm -hmm. um, bringing out the whole spectrum, the non-binary yeah. and, and the female identifying. Uh, tell me uh, that, I mean, you're talking with people uh, who haven't really had a voice in our popular culture. Mm -hmm. Tell me some of the things that you are finding that, you know, once they do have a position to actually say something. I like. think that <laughs> it's been, it's been really, it's been so incredible to find artists who's who I had was like familiar with socially but maybe who mm -hmm. I like hadn't been so familiar with their work mm -hmm. and then to see their work and to see how many similarities that there are between all of the ways in which we're like all of the things that we see if like people are drawn from like oh but, you know like music videos or like television shows that they see or like songs that there's so much overlap that there's yeah. so many things that like all speak to us right um and that's been really incredible just to i remember we had one event where we brought this artist jay dodd who is based in um, boston mm -hmm. and they um do these incredible pieces where they um because they used to be a dancer and okay. so they um put music over they like chop and screw music videos and pieces and it was like nice. a full audience and you could just like hear other black friends in the audience just like watching it and being like yes yes <laughs> get it and like just like totally like falling out over like the things that they had done and just like right. seeing like all of this like I don't know just like the ways in which people are able to like see themselves in other people's work totally has been really beautiful because you're identifying from a very source what you're saying is like you're referencing source energy yeah that you know like maybe you felt like an individual, mm -hmm. you know, in, in your original sources, but you're finding that there's continuity amongst the community. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, um, that's awesome. You have a showcase coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about that. Yeah, we're basically doing like a two week festival. Um, so on Friday, we're screening work from um, Kalima Abioto. Um, she's gonna be screening Sight and Black Genius at PCC Paragon Gallery. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna be um, doing events with Jaleesa Johnston, mm -hmm. who is um, a video artist and a performance artist, and she's gonna be screening some of her work and the work of um, a black animator named Diana Jackson. Yeah. Um, with, um, we're collaborating with um, Sharita Town and Lisa Bates, who run the Black um, Life Experiential Research Group, or Whoa. BLURG. <laughs> um, and they're based in Alberta Abbey, so they're 
they're going to be um, hosting us for those two events on Saturday and Sunday. And then uh, next weekend on Friday, we're bringing an artist named Wizard Apprentice yeah. up. And um, she does these um, beautiful sound performances that are paired with projections. And then she does, she's going to do a workshop with us afterwards that she calls a shadow work workshop. Yeah. Where she teaches, um, where she's going to teach us how to work with some of our more difficult emotions like jealousy, anger, fear, and how to channel that into your practice and make it productive. Yeah. Um, and turn it into creative energy. So I'm really excited about that. And all of our workshops are free, um, and they're all going to be catered by Platino Rising, who's an incredible awesome. um, Afro Dominican uh, caterer <laughs> at Harlan Frank. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Um, I, I, I'm excited about it all. And tell me about some of the ethos, like for some of uh, the people who are joining for the first time. Mm -hmm. Like, um, how do you, how do you? Uh, encourage them to feel comfortable in this space? Um, I think that the biggest thing for us is that um, like we don't want anybody to feel like they're not like they don't have enough of like a professional background or that like they haven't been doing it for long enough or that they don't have enough skills to be able to like come and like learn and ask questions like mm -hmm. we want it to be like a completely like all entry level space Yeah. Um, because I think that something that has kept me and has also kept Kiki out of like a lot of spaces in the past has been feeling like we were welcome because we didn't know enough or because we couldn't like you know like talk about tech yeah like in the same way that other people could um so we really want to create a space um, where that's absent yeah yeah and and so how long has this been developing how long have you been putting on programs um i've been here for about five years yeah. and um i did a program four years ago um, that was similar, um, also celebrating um, celebrating Black Women film. Mm -hmm. So we did. Um, I don't know if anybody's familiar with the opera Carmen, um, but we did four films. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we did um, the four film adaptations of the opera Carmen that star Black women. Yeah. So Carmen Jones, um, Carmen the Hip Opera, Carmen Gay, which is a Senegalese film, and then New Carmen, which is a South African film. Wow. Um, and then we um, hosted discussions afterwards um, where Black femmes and Black women could come and talk about. Like I feel like that that particular piece has so many feelings around like brings up so many feelings around desirability, respectability, politics, mm -hmm. like violence against women. Um, and and so we were all we all like you know sort of like talked about all the feelings that those films brought up right um, and then we also had um, we also commissioned performers to do pieces that were inspired by each of the films so we had four performers for four films and they each created work and that's actually how I started working with Kiki Kiki was one of the performers who um, developed work around one of the films that's beautiful yeah that's beautiful um, let's talk about the titling of this all the yeah. first to the last. Mm -hmm. Where um, did you get that title? So it's um, so Daughters of the Dust is a film directed by Julie Dash, and it was the first um, film directed by a Black woman to be um, to receive a major release. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a quote from that film. It's about the the movie is about um, the Gullah people. It's about a Gullah family that um, is considering moving north during the Great Migration, mm -hmm. and the uh, matriarch of the family, Nana Pazant. Um, she gives this. She gives a speech at the climax of the film, and she talks about how um, black women have always been here, mm -hmm. um, and just because we haven't been seen doesn't mean we haven't been here. Right. Um, that we're everything. Yeah. Um, so we're the first and the last, um, the honored and the scorned, um, barren but many are my daughters, and just mm -hmm. like thinking about like all the different like multiplicities that black women encompass. Right. Um, and. Both, that film has been really important to me. Yeah. Um, and I think that that's sort of like a, a crux of it is like thinking about just being able to think about like the experience of black womanhood and black femininity from so many different valence points. Right. Um, and just trying to be as open as possible to like seeing and honoring all of them. Yeah. And I could say, you know, Ameri as an American in our educational system, there is a huge gap yeah. when it comes to understanding all you know the the highs and the lows of black film female experience mm -hmm. um not only here in america but africa like yeah, where everywhere. where it all originated yeah. yeah um and you're doing big things to you know establish a presence 
for it. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell me about the Portland community and, and how uh, that's that's worked. Uh, have you found you know room in the Portland community? Do you yeah. feel comfortable? Yeah, yeah. Here. I feel good about it. I mean, like I think that I've just like learned so much since I've moved here. Yeah. Um, I moved here from New York, mm -hmm. and this is just a very different community. But it's a really beautiful community in the way that people. Um, the way that people build community here yeah. has been really, it's been really generative to, to just like observe and to learn. And I yeah. feel like this is just like, kind of like an offering to just like create, to just like create these spaces and just see who comes. And yeah. we've gotten really good feedback from people who come. They're just like, oh, I never thought about it this way. Or like, I was able to like learn a lot. Um, or just like, yeah, just being, it's, it's been really, it's been good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're creating the space of, you know, creative expression. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you are on the verge of maybe a film festival? Or... I would love to do something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't want to push Whoa. anything on you, but <laughs> like, if I was to say anything, like, yeah. that would be I beautiful. Mean, that would be the big dream. That yeah. would be the big dream. Because, yeah. like, I mean, so many of the artists that we're working with are local artists. Yeah. And just, like, watching the work, I'm just like, this work is so fucking incredible. Yeah. Like, I would love to see it on the big screen. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sure you, you're getting tons of energy from your yeah. community. And it's, yeah. it, it's so beautiful to be in the presence of someone who's cultivating community um, in such a way. And uh, Kiki, we have to have her on at some time. Yeah. Um, and uh, thank you for sharing uh, for my audience here and my audience at home. How can they get in touch with you? Um, we have a we have a website that's the first and the last black at squarespace.com. Okay. We're also on Instagram at um, first and last dot black. Okay. Um, and black is spelled B L K. Yeah. Because we're young. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then we're also on Facebook um, under the first and the last. Um, so we have all of the information, more details about our screenings and stuff like that.